Hey there, this is Akshit Madan. Welcome back to a new video and I hope you, you guys are liking my Dart Complete playlist for beginners. And till now we have learned a lot of concepts. But in this video, we are going to start learning a very, very important topic, you can say, of any programming language or basically we can say it's an important term or it's an important topic basically for object-oriented programming. Dart is an object-oriented programming, right? So uh, let's begin learning functions right so what are functions so as the name defines they are going to perform a function or we can say that they are going to perform a particular task the task that has been coded inside the function right that's the basic uh, definition we can say about functions right so we can so you already know about OOP right that I'm assuming so in OOP functions are written inside a class right First of all, class is going to be a main starting point, right? And inside the class, you are going to have uh, functions, right? You can have variables, you can have a lot of things, but we have functions, right? And how can you call these functions? How can you call these functions? I'm going to give you an example, don't worry, but I'm just asking you these questions, right? So how can we call these functions? First way can be, you can create objects of classes, and then you can, uh, call the functions or you can use static uh, keyword and if your function is static then you can directly call class name dot function name right like this I'm going to give you an example of both of these two things right so let's start learning these functions functions as I just said they are nothing but task that needs to be performed let's say first of all the main function we write right void main so this is also a function, right? And main function, you take Java, you take C++ or any other programming language. Basically, we use this main for defining the entry point function. Or we can say that this is the first task that is performed. Or if we, as we are learning Flutter, so for Flutter, main function, the void main function you will be seeing in your new application. If you just go on Flutter and download it and try to create a, a sample app, try to create a, a beginner friendly app, then you will see that Flutter already gives you the main function, right, in the boilerplate uh, code. So because main function is your entry point of your app, this is going to consist of all the things that needs to be performed in your application, right? So this is how we define functions. You define the name, and this is the return type. Void means you're not going to return anything from this main function. And we have other uh, types also I'm going to teach you. So main is a function name. Then we have this circular brackets and then we have this curly brackets. Inside these curly brackets, we write what we need to do in this function, right? And I can create multiple function. Let's say I have a function which is going to return me integer. So int and this function is going to return me the uh, let's say the hundredth multiple of the integer that you have provided, let's say. So I'm going to write hundredth multiple, right? And it is going to take a number. So these are called parameters. In this video, I'm just uh, clearing your doubts about uh, methodologies or terminologies, right? So these are called parameters. So I, wa I want to take one number and then I want to return that number multiply by 100. Simple example, right? So I'm going to take a number called n and this is going to be an integer, not a double. So integer, right? And I'm going to return something. So that's why I have not defined void here because I want to return an integer. So integer into 100 will always be an integer, right? So I'm going to return this n multiply by 100, right? So let's just format it. So I've just defined a simple function with this is the first thing is your return type and your second thing is your function name. So function name and third thing are your parameters, right? So these three things you can see in this function, return type, your function name and your parameters, right? And there are multiple types of parameters. We have default parameters, then positional then named parameters. We are going to have different videos for these, right? So this is a simple function. Now, how can you call this function as we are not defining any class? and we are doing functional programming currently. So I can directly call this function as 100th, I can just copy it, I can just paste it, and it is going to take some uh, parameters. So how many parameters? One parameter. 
what is the inte what is the parameter type integer so i'm going to provide let's say 2 so what should be my output 200 and i want to print this so what i'm going to do i'm going to print this output like this or how can you do it you can just define integer result is equal to like this and you can print this result simple right no rocket science it is super simple so if i just run it you are going to see the output as 200 say so, right so let's see so we have not got any output why is it yes we got it so that was maybe my browser error so i got my output as 200 perfect and i can write as many functions as i want to write i can write another function which is going to return me a string and it is going to return me the uh let's say string plus hello right so what i'm going to do string plus hello is my function name and i'm going to take a string s and it is going to return me s plus hello right with a space this should be my output and if i just format it it looks good now and after this i'm going to say string uh, s result is equal to i'm going to call this function so just copy it paste it and provide it the parameter right and you can print this result so yes it should be like this and you can run it yes akshit hello right so these are simple simple function that i'm writing you can write as complex as function that you need for your application right now my second question is how can you call this function so this was just uh, functional programming right we did not write any class right now let's do all of these three things inside a class right so i'm going to create a class let's keep the main function outside i'm going to create a class and let's say my class name is uh, akshit my class name can be anything right so my class name is akshit and i'm having these two functions inside this class right now I cannot access these two functions, right? Because they are not, uh, they are inside a class and I cannot access these functions of a class just like this, right? I need to define a way. So as I told you to uh, access your functions from a class, first way can be create an object of a class or second way can be you can use it, use a static uh, keyword, right? So first of all, let's see how can you create an object. So we already know. So I'm going to create Akshit Akshit, that means my class name, my object name is equal to my new or like this, right? So I'm just creating an instant of this class, right? It's basics of OOP. And now I can call these functions from this object dot and dot. Perfect. Akshit dot like this, Akshit dot function name. You can run it and your output is going to remain the same. Perfect. Let's see the second way, right? So second way is going to be, I'm not going to create an instance. I'm going to define my functions as static and static. And you can directly call class name dot function name. So class name dot function name, right? You can just run it and your output is going to remain the same. So we two, we saw two ways of how you can access your function inside a class using object and using static, right? Now you will be wondering, uh, okay, so let's come to parameters. So we have this one parameter, right? You can have int n1, you can have int n2, or as many parameters you want, right? And you uh, you can pass these parameters from your uh, function uh, definition, right? When you are uh, calling your function, there you need to define the parameters. So in the next video, we are going to learn more about these parameters, types of parameters, right? Now, just to clear one more example, just to clear your doubt, one more example I'm going to give you, which are inbuilt functions, right? You know that string has inbuilt function, lowercase, uppercase, right? So let's say if I have a string called s is equal to uh, Akshat, right? And I want to convert it into, and you also should know that this string is not just a basic data type, it's also class, right? how flutter has defined some database uh, data sets sorry data structures like string you have you have list you have map so basically at the end they are nothing but classes right which have certain functions 
So this is a class, right? L like this Akshat, right? Which had these two functions. So string is also a class, which is having certain functions. And I'm going to use this string uh, class and call its functions. So we have, I'm going to print s dot uppercase. So you can see dot two uppercase. I just, yes, we have two lowercase and two uppercase. So basically we, uh, we are having the string and we are trying to convert this string into uppercase using an inbuilt function, uh, which is present inside your string class, right? So this is also a simple function. This is also a simple function, right? And s dot to uppercase. So string dot to uppercase is going to convert this string into uppercase. So this is also a simple function, right? And you can see capital Akshat. Perfect. So I hope that you learned basics of functions and definitely this video is not enough for you to become master of functions. The following videos which are going to come on these functions, parameters, then um, anonymous functions or inline functions are going to make you an, a master of flood, uh, functions, right? So meet you in the next video. Till then, keep coding, keep innovating and thanks a lot.